This video focuses on Boolean operators. In other words, and, or, and not, and how you use those in searching in a library database. One of the most difficult aspects of searching in the library databases are how you use these three little words. Boolean operators are words used to connect search terms in database searches. Boolean logic allows the user, you, to combine words or phrases representing significant concepts in a keyword search. There are three primary Boolean operators, and, or, and not. The main trick to searching databases effectively and successfully is to understand how to connect keywords together. How you enter the search terms can make all the difference to your results. So let's talk about AND. The AND operator narrows your search results. This is different from how we use AND in our day-to-day -day language, where it adds two concepts together, like apples and oranges. Instead, using AND will narrow your search and end with fewer search results. Each time another concept is added using AND, the search becomes more precise and your results get fewer. For example, using this Venn diagram, if we wanted articles that discuss domesticated pets, specifically cats and dogs, we might search database by entering dogs and cat. Think of the circles of this Venn diagram as all the literature available in a particular database with the keyword dog. The overlap shaded area are the articles that would return, in other words, how the search is interpreted by the database when searching for both cats and dogs. So if the article doesn't have both of those, it won't come back in your search results. Let's take a look at what happens to the results when we search for cats and dogs in Academic Search Premier. Okay, so we'll add dogs in the first line, and then you can see that and is already put there, and cats. Now when we do this, the we'll search, and you can see that we received 6,316 results on articles that are about cats and dogs. And in this first, you can see that both dogs and cats are listed. Next, Let's talk about or. So with and, you get fewer results, but with or, you get more. It's sort of hokey, but it is memorable. So use or for more. So if you receive no results or just a few, you can use synonyms with or to help broaden the search. Again, let's look at the Venn diagram. So here you can see that by using dogs or cats, you're gonna get any article indicated by the shady area any article that refers to dogs or cats. So let's take, take a look at what happens when we search in Academic Search Premier again. Okay, we're back in Academic Search Premier. Let's switch this for or. Now, remember, this is gonna broaden your search, so we're gonna get more results than our initial 6,000. And yes, we did. As you can see, there's now we have over 100,000 results. So this gives you an idea of how that looks and how that, how that searches. You add by or, and you're gonna multiply those results. And lastly, let's talk about not. Not is one that is not, it's not used very often, but how you use it is to exclude terms from your results. Once again, you're doing research on domesticated pets, specifically dogs but you're finding that most of your results refer to cats. You could do a search for dogs, not cats, and it would remove those, and those results that list cats. So let's try this once again. All right, we're back in Academic Search Premier. We'll select not, and now we're at 63,000, which is a ton, and this is clearly a huge search, but it's taken out 40, 000, over 40,000 articles that refer to cats. And so now you're just looking at the articles with dogs. So comparing the use of and, or, and not, with or, we had over 100,000 results. By using not, you received about 64,000. And with and, it was about 6,000. It's not all about the number of results you get, but that illustrates how using these terms influences and impacts the results that you receive or the amount of results that you receive. All right, I hope this gets you started with using and, not, and or a little bit better in your research.